Okay, people. Um, so you asked for it. I'm delivering. Here is a question involving break-even analysis and graphing. That's a little bit like the test tomorrow. Um, I'm going to upload this question and the work solutions for this question to Edmodo when I upload this link. But, excuse me, um, I'm actually making this video too because it's worth going through the graphing process because that seems to be what has people stuck. So firstly, let's have a look at the question itself. So in this scenario, Christine has decided she loves working at Pizza Hut so much she's going to uh, open her own Pizza Hut franchise, open her own store. And she's investigating the feasibility of doing that. So in other words, will she make money if she does it? Is this a sensible thing to do or will she go bankrupt? Um, so these numbers are just made up. I have no idea if they're realistic or not. But she's come up with the following estimates for the fixed costs and variable costs per pizza of running this business. And this is for a month at a time. So your fixed costs per month are the cost of leasing the shop, depreciation on assets in the shop, you know, like fridges, cookers, whatever, computers, um, wages for the people who work in there, electricity and other bills. And then the variable costs for a single pizza, in other words, the cost of the stuff that makes up one pizza is empty box, pizza dough, cheese, bacon and pepperoni, and uh, labor per pizza. So in other words, how many dollars of wages go into each pizza. So you've got those costs, and then down the bottom it says the pizzas sell for $8 each. So in this question, we need to work out through the following. Firstly, find equations for the total cost per month and the total revenue per month. Once you've done that, use those equations to fill in this table here. And then last, well, second to last, <coughs> and this is similar to what you'll have tomorrow, Using the table from B, so in other words, using that table you've just filled in, draw a graph on the blank axis below that shows total costs and total revenues. So in other words, draw two lines, one for each on there. Find where those lines meet and use that to determine the break-even number. So in other words, the approximate, so you won't get exact, the approximate number of pizzas you need to sell each month in order to break even. So that's your blank axis. You'll notice that the x-axis is labeled already for you. The y-axis is not, so you have to do that. And then lastly, to check your answer, use the algebraic method, which is the way we've been doing it, to find the exact answer, the exact number of pizzas needed to break even. All right, so I'm not going to go through this in entire detail. I'm just going to go straight to the solutions here. So I worked out these equations for the total cost and total revenue. So total cost, excuse me, 24,500 plus 1.4x and total revenue is 8x. Use those to fill in this table here. Only thing you might want to note there, profit is obviously the revenue, how much money you made, take away the costs. And you can see if you're below about 4,000, your revenue is less than your total cost. You actually make a loss. That's what the negative sign there is. So for instance, when you make zero pizzas, you make a loss of negative $24,500 per month. All right. So the idea here is to use that information to draw a graph and to use that graph to determine the break even. Now I'm going to do that in paint, I reckon, rather than trying to draw onto this Word document. So I'm going to go over to paint here. Now the first thing I want to do here is like set my axes. Work out what has to go on the vertical side here to fit everything in. So if I go back to the table, these numbers here, revenue and total costs, they're what goes on the y-axis. Monthly sales is what goes on the x. Now if I look at these numbers here, the biggest number is 32,000. So my graph needs to go up to about 32,000, maybe a bit more. If I look at what I got here, if I count each line here as 2,000, then that'll work because, you know, 2,000, 4,000, 5, Sorry, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, and so on. 20,000, 30,000, 32,000, 34,000, 36,000. So that'll work. So each one is equal to 2,000. I'm not going to put a number next to each one. I'm just going to use these big black marks here. This one's here. And each of them will be 10,000. So I'm just going to label it like so. 10,000. Twenty thousand, thirty thousand. All right. So 
obviously this is a lot easier if you can draw on Twitter. I have to make this shit, uh, this stuff up using paint. And then obviously as well as that, you need to label your axes. Remember, you need to write something next to it to tell you what it is. So I don't know, something like this, value in, where are we, dollars, that'll do. That's all you can write really because it actually shows two things. So if you put revenue, then that would be right because it also shows costs. And if you put costs, that wouldn't be right because it also shows revenue. Okay, so that becomes my little heading that I put here. Right, once I've got that set up, um, I want to draw the two graphs, the one for revenue, excuse me, and the one for costs. I might start with the revenue one first. And as I was trying to explain yesterday, it's today rather, it's not too hard because you just need two points. Now the first point is always zero for revenue because when you sell zero items, you make zero dollars. That's obvious. So I put one dot there at zero. What you can do now is you could put in a second dot at 1,000 across and 8,000 up, sec a third dot at 2,000 across, 16,000 up, and so on. Um, if you're lazy like me, if you get it right the first time, you can just do one dot because it's a straight line. It'll just keep going straight after you join together the two dots. So I'm just going to put one dot at 1,000 across and 8,000 up. So 1,000 across, remembering that each of these little grid lines here is 2,000. That there is, is 8,000. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to join those two points together with a straight line. Well, maybe not that thick a straight line. A bit skinnier. Looks better. And if I get it pretty much exactly through the middle, it looks like that. So that's my total revenue. And just so I know what I'm doing, I'm going to write, and you should do this too, the word total revenue here. And I'm going to like park that next to that line so I know that that's the total revenue line. There you go. Now I need to do the same thing for costs. <coughs> now for costs, we're told that um, the fixed costs add up to a total of $24,500, right? So basically, when you sell nothing, in other words, here, that zero sales, you're still paying $24,500. The fixed costs don't go away. So the, the cost, the total cost, when you sell zero items is $0 of variable, uh, $0 of variable costs. You've still got that $24,500 of fixed costs. So 24,500 is about here. I'm going to put a dot there. And then the, the other points, that could be any one of these. I'm probably going to try and look for one that's an exact figure or close to it. Um, and none of them are, unfortunately. I might use the last one there, 30,100. So it's 4,000 across and 30,100 up. And that would be like that, basically, just above the 30,000 line. So I'll click there. And like I said, as before, if you want to make it yours better, you should probably put more points in and join more points up. I'm just doing this quickly because it's late at night and uh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. And join them up like so. There we go. And I will get you to, like you did before, look for the other one, label it. Total And then put that near that line somewhere where it's going to be obvious what you're looking at. Right there, maybe. All right, so that's my graph. And this point here, let me just put a little dab onto it. This point here where they meet, that is my break even point. Now, if I want to know what that was, it's a matter of dropping down a vertical line straight down. 
until it hits the x-axis like so and then trying to read that value off the x-axis now this is gonna be a little bit tricky but let's see 30 sorry 3000 3200 3400 3600 3800 so it would be just under 3700 maybe you would say 3660 or something like that so my estimate for that would be 3660 so that's how you go about drawing the graph so you will have something like this you will have blank axes sorry you won't have blank axes the bottom axis will be filled in, the vertical axis will be blank. Once you've filled in the table, you have an idea of how big the numbers are that have to go on the vertical axis, and you'll be able to work out from that where your graph needs to go up to. Once you've labeled your vertical axis, then you draw in the two lines. And like I said, if you press for time, just do two points and put them in as precisely as you can. Join those two points up with a straight line, keep that straight line going, you should be fine. And then look for the points where they meet, when you find that point, take a ruler or something like that and follow that point all the way down, straight down until it hits the x-axis and then try and read off from that and that should be your break-even number. So here I've had a guess and I've said 3,300, sorry, 3,660 or thereabouts. Now that won't be exactly right and if I go back and look at my solutions, the exact answer when I use the algebraic method was 3,713, so it's a bit off. But it doesn't matter, as long as you've gone as long as it looks reasonable when you've included everything that I've included here, if you have 3,600 and I have 3,700, you'll still get full marks for that. Okay, so I hope this makes things a little bit clearer. Please study this carefully because you know you're going to have a question like this tomorrow. All right, done. See ya.